it's uh, nice to have you guys on here once again and uh i'm so sorry i have not made a video in the last two weeks and so this video is basically going to be you know answering some questions that some of you have asked on the channel and uh, basically share some of the some more tips with you first i just wanted to share some of the domains that you know were dropped in the past uh, in the past seven days i've not made a video in like you know um i have not made a video in like um two weeks so i'm just going to stay with let's just do 14 days to see some of the best domain names that were dropped you know we'll come on that court let's let me just restart it from the beginning so that you, you know you guys who are just joining this channel get to see how you can you know, get get great domains you know you come under either court or pending or deleted you really find good domains under deleted you find more good domains under court and pending so you filter the domain names you you know add a minimum trust flow to 15 and then uh, under adwords and seo you come to wikipedia you put the minimum wikipedia link to one what this does is this authority websites tend to have links from wikipedia and so many other top websites and so that's what we just start, try to target then we want to set a date under common we come uh only new last 14 days so we want to see domains that were caught in the last 14 days quality domains now recently i decided to use one other tool it's not a free tool by the way it's called refs and it actually but it's actually a pretty quick great tool if you you know hope to you know find amazing domain names so if you've got a budget it's quite costly so i wouldn't always advise that unless you already have a business that is bringing in you know quite a, a bit of revenue i wouldn't advise that you get that too now what we do is we come under dp under dp this is domain pop basically the number of quality links that are pointing that are coming to this website that's basically what this uh, dp is all about now we have a couple of uh, powerful links let's just restrict ourselves to dot com yeah now many times you might be trying to buy these uh, domains in order for you to resell so sticking with dot com is often the best bet so let's just stick with dot com let's see some powerful domains that we have here now dot balls yeah i remember this domain name dropping it's actually a domain name that was used by the military uh the u.s military at one point so you can imagine just how powerful the domain name uh was and so they dropped so then our hahrefs you could just drop the domain name and then you know you come see the quality of the domain name dot balls it's a DS64. It has 219. It's uh, 218k backlinks. You know, it's pretty powerful your domain. And then uh, you yeah, you could just put it put the uh, the domain name Uber suggests. Now many of these tools do not bring exactly the same results. But one of the most authority res results you could get is this. Dotballs.com. Now you can see the Ahrefs rank. You see the DR. You know, 3.4 backlinks it's a pretty powerful domain name looking at these uh, statistics so if you any if you could just maybe look for who owns this domain name if you'd like it you could uh, just get the domain name and start using it but that, that's that then you find uh, so many other wonderful domain names that dropped this week uh this uh ali upa uh there, there was one that also dropped vine.in uh along this uh in, in around this time too so basically this is also a powerful domain name you know the mains are dropping every time so it's really good if you you know regularly check on that website to see or to know when the quality domain name has dropped this is also one really really powerful domain name organic traffic 158 and uh domain you know organic keywords as a ranking now, so having this domain name is actually it puts you it sets you up for success so you find so many other powerful domains. I'm just going to keep this on my watch list because I may want to trace who the owner of the domain name is and see if it's something you can negotiate. And that's that. You could then come on that pending. That's basically where most of your work. Where I would advise that you always you know, spend a lot of your time. On the pending, you know, you do the same thing. And the pending in the last seven days, so you could see. Now, it's not always, you know, you might not always find great domain names on that pending, but 
when you are looking for pending domain names, I might suggest that you do not have anything to do with uh, the TLD because you find sometimes find that code or you code domain names on that pending. So I, I would just advise that you, you know, just go straight to searching the domain names and see which one works for you. Many of you come from, you know, you guys come from different parts of the world, so domain names can just come up at different times and from any corner of the world. So when you are open, you can actually register any domain name that suits you. That's 330 k backlinks, uh, 1.8 million backlinks, uh, 3k linking domains. This is what I call the powerful domain name. So that's why when it comes to, you might want to just do a 301 redirect to a website and then just transfer all the value of the website to your own website at the end of the day if that is what you want to do domain names like this also work yeah they don't yeah, they don't come with, with .com or .net but the value of the domain names are really really yeah so what i just do is i just come here i just touch and touch and uh, you know by looking at this you now always take note of this uh this majestic rank too when, you, when any domain name that has majestic rank and alexa rank often it's a valuable domain name. So you just do go through that same process. You could use most, you could use uh, Uber Suggest, you could use uh, uh, Ahrefs if you've got funds to you know register it. And but always do something. And let's let me take you back to these dot boards. I want to show you something you should always do when you are trying to get a domain name. Always enter it in the web.archive to see what the domain name was used for before. Now, if you see a domain name like this, it shows that this domain, while it has been redirected, is still very, very valuable. So, all you just need to do is just take maybe come back to 2012 and see what the website looked like at 2012. Now, the reason you are doing this is this you want to be careful so that you do not uh, get domain names that have been used for either uh, gambling, pornography, or any other thing in the past. It might have had a bad record with the search engine. So, all we just want to do is to see the domain names. Now, looking at the domain name, top anchor text. Now, these are not Chinese anchor text, so they are really cool. And then, if you look at the, the linking domains too, you don't you find 1.7k domains between one and 10 DA, but you find a, a, a sizable number of domains, you know, on other days too. It helps you to see that this is not a spam domain. Now, if you have nothing here, you have nothing here, you have nothing here, you have nothing here, but you have a lot of the of the links coming from this. It shows you that uh, something is wrong with that domain. I don't suggest that you get it. Now, we just want to see what this website was like back then. Now, online defense and acquisition journal. So that's what, what it was. So if you acquire this domain name, you could, you know, have a uh, start to, you know, writing news on online defense. <laughs> or, you know, you could do any other thing like that. And you, if you decide to put on Google News, you could get approval on time. Which isn't a bad deal too if you get that domain name so that's just always have it you know, go through your the archive to see what the domain name is for that way you do not get a domain name that is uh that has been backlisted on the search engines so let's continue let me just go through some questions that i had on the channel now, after applying the filter i'm unable to see even a single domain here i really do not understand what this uh friend of mine is saying but mostly, if you apply the filters correctly, you should be able to see great domain names. Yeah, if you apply the filter correctly. Now, sometimes you could just put it on just just second twenty four hours. You know, just try to apply the filter. You follow the same process that I followed. Do not be too strict. Just follow the same process that I followed. I always have a four step process that always helps me to get great domain names and does not hide quality domain names. I put the trust flow to fifteen minimum, and then I put the Wikipedia links to one. And then after that, I come to under common, I set the date range, and then I come under um, this, I choose exclude domains on my watch list. That happens, I have a watch list of domains that I am watching constantly. So or you just if you set it correctly, you should be able to get domains. But it depends on how you also set it. If, you're, if your parameters are too strict, you might not get domains you also want. So just follow the process I, I, I have said here, you should have um, great domain names. And then this uh, friend, um, I'm just confused with the end. So can you, so can you, so you can see those in pending delete. How do I purchase the domain? Okay, 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 okay. How do I purchase the domain? Do I just wait for end to come and expire? When it's expire, when where do I go to buy the domain? Thank you very much for this question. I think uh, many of you 
do not know how to purchase the mint so i'm just going to remove these parameters that i've set and then what i'm going to do right now is this i'm just going to try to uh, purchase a domain now you don't wait until the domains have expired before you purchase them so what i do is i come under end dates after i have it in my watch list i come under end dates and then i come under let's say I'm, i want to know domains that will be dropping tomorrow that's the first of uh so to tomorrow that's the first of uh, december 2019 uh so today is uh, 30th when i'm recording this video and then i come under only watch list sorry and then i come under i always like to put it uh, at 200 but i really have a few domains on my watch list for each day so <laughs> sometimes i only have let's say for today i have to, for tomorrow i have to one and let's say i want to back order these domain names for in my previous video this was the domain name i shared the 70 yeah so all i just need to do is to click on it and then you have different uh, websites here that allow you to you know order the domain so i'm just going to click on one and then it takes us to that website so all you just need to do is to click on the website you have different options for back ordering the domain name i always recommend that people let's say if you want to go for .co.uk you could use exonite i've used them to back order a domain name before and they, they, they were pretty cool not bad and uh Another thing is this, I'm just also going to show you, let's say you want to back order for a .com. Uh, okay, I have this own media magazine. It's actually a really cool domain name too. I'm just going to show you the domain name. I'm just going to use Ahrefs and uh, Moz this time around. So that you, you get to see. It's actually a domain name that was used for a DVD website, sort of. So if you are getting this domain name, you could use it to, you know, you could talk about uh, movies that are being cancelled shows that have been re renewed you know and then take a look at it it's so powerful uh yes the, you know it's actually a pretty powerful domain name so let's say i want to i'm just going to log in and let's also say i want to back order this i'm just going to click on that i either you can either use snap names or drop catch no other one is as effective as this two for dot com so i always use drop catch because it is way powerful and more effective than snap names in a future video, I'm just going to take a comparison video of a, a, make a comparison of each and every one of these drops patching softwares. But for this video, let's just try to use uh, snap names, which might be easier for me right now. But if you want to, if you want more success rate, I try to recommend that you just stick with uh, dropcatch.com. So that's that. See, I just back ordered the domain name. Thank you. Your order was processed successfully. So when the domain name drops, they automatically notify me. If I am the only one who back ordered the domain name, I win the domain name. So that's how you get about for go, doing uh, for dot code or UK, and it's always advisable that you back order from more than one. So you can use uh, u.io. I already done that for this domain. You can use Catch Tiger, but these two are often those that I find useful. Now you just go do a Google search and look for back ordering softwares too. They, that you could actually find some great ones. So let's try to back order this um, media magazine dot com. I'm just going to add that to cart. I'm going to be adding that to the cart and then they will request that i sign in so let's place the order let's place the order so i'm going to sign in yeah okay when i sign in i'm just uh, i'm using snap names to back order that domain name so all i just need to do is to place order so is it you will be obligated to purchase the domain name you are ordering should you be the i bidder when the auction closes okay so I am going to back order this domain. It's going to drop in one day, six hours from now. So I just back order the domain name. So we are processing your request. Yeah. So that's it. So I've already back ordered it. So as soon as the domain name is you know is available, I own it. Now that's something I might have missed in my previous video. So please have that in mind. You don't have to wait until the domain name has expired before you back order it. Always back order it. At least 24 hours before it expires that way you don't miss out when the domain name finally drops please always do that if you do not do that when the domain name drops you don't never have a chance to win them now in the future video i'm just going to show you what other options you have if you forgot to back order a domain name that's uh for that now so that's for the question on the, the channel if you've got any questions as to back ordering domain names or searching for quality domain names Feel free to share them with me. I'll be so happy to come on here to you know, answer your questions as time goes on. 
thank you very very much you guys for being here for you know in this video i'll see you in the next one